Senator Ojimba truly is your biological father? Why are you keen on tarnishing his image in society? He used to be my father, but not anymore. I cannot have a murderer and a cultist as a father. God forbid. But don't you think that this exposure will ruin his political career? Especially now that his candidate is running. You know what my Bible says? My Bible says, when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. I don't want my people to mourn. As long as I am alive, his party will never make it. Uh, uh, Jimba, you sent for me. Yeah, I did. Uh, you keep your seat while my candidate loses his. Is that the arrangement? I don't understand. Is, is that a threat or what? You heard me. I don't care how you look at it. See, Ojemba, it's not entirely my fault. It is rather yours. Eh? If it were not for the scandalous article your so-called song wrote in the papers last week, we would have been making progress by now. I don't care what the media published. You are the Senate President and I made you that. Always have it at the back of your mind. I made you the Senate President. And I want you to ensure that my candidate gets that seat. That's why I called you. Well, I, I don't think it has gotten to that. Uh, I'll see what I can do. But remember, I'm not the only one that will take the decision. I don't care who takes the decision. I want that seat and my candidate must occupy it. As I said earlier, I made you the Senate President and I can always remove you. So I want him there. If you don't know that, it's called politics. Well, we'll see what we can do. Good. Life is a mystery. We come and we go. Hey, come on! Whatever. Do you think what that you your doing? talks or whatever you call them can stop me? Dad! So, why did you allow this good for nothing born again to come here and bother my peace? Oh, I am proud that I am born again. I am proud that one day I will rest with the Lord. <laughs> no, go on and smile. <laughs> Love yourselves to scorn. But it is to the people that you will deceive, not me. I will tell the whole world that you killed my mother, your wife. I went to see Dr. Frank. And he told me that my mother slept and never woke up. Just the same way my brother slept to death. And just after some few weeks, you were dazzling everywhere with your evil money. Ojemba, you can fool the whole world, but you cannot fool me. Tell me, when would you stop exchanging innocent blood with vanishing riches and selfish powers? Look at them of this concession. Hey, hold it there! Hold it. Hold it there. Beds of the same feather. I see that this your born again madness has gotten to a point where it requires some cure. And I shall provide that cure, I promise you. I shall provide that cure. Oh, calm down, Chief Ojemba. He is only a young man. No, no, no. Allow him to give me the cure. Allow him. Now, what other cure? You're not slaughtering me like one of your victims. Am I to be compared with all the people you have slaughtered? Is it my mother or my innocent brother or the thousands that miss every day in your hotel rooms? Ducky, so take this butt again, ruffian, out of here. <laughs> take this ruffian out of here! I don't get you out of here! Tell them that I just said because of your evil ass! It's okay, Ojemba. I'm going to go! I'm going to go! As the party chairman of NPC, what positive results should the state indigenous expect? If um, a positive result from your party, if they get into the state house from the ongoing election? That presupposes that you are already wishing us victory. Thank you. Um, I joined that party because I was impressed with its manifesto. We intend to 
spread development evenly throughout the 17 local governments of the state. We shall begin first of all by ensuring that everybody has access to good water supply. So we shall build, we shall sink boreholes in all the local governments. Now, secondly, we want to make sure that there's abundant food for the people. And towards realizing this, each local government must be involved extensively with farming. Farming different types of crops, and again, they must diversify. They have the fish farming, they have the poultry, they have the bigre, you name it. So you are thinking about planting crops and animal husbandry. We want to ensure that every citizen of the state eats properly. Education. A lot of people take to crime because they are not educated. They never have the opportunity of acquiring good education. Therefore, it is the policy of my party to ensure that we give a scholarship to people from the elementary school to the university. God was not wrong to say woe to the world when the devil was thrown down. Can you imagine a demon trying to hide, I will expose you, Ojan. I will show the whole world your evil deeds. You've made up your mind to leave. You can leave, but I will assure you, you will regret this, and I mean it, you will regret this. The only regret I have in my life now is having a demon like you as a father. I thank God for opening my eyes to see the demon in you, or how would I have known that I have a cultist, a ritualist for a father? Oh, you think I don't know the source of your present riches? You think I don't know that he used my only brother, Okechuku, for rituals? Well, thank God. He has shown it to me all. Yes, it's true. I am not surprised at what you have become. I knew it was all bound to come to this. The moment you attached yourself to that sex-obsessed little girl, I knew it was bound to infect you with radical religious ideas. Please, my son, I sent you to the university to acquire sound professional education so you can be the envy of your peers. Look at what you have become. Your entire manhood has been gradually wasted and your ideals have been corrupted simply because you attached yourself to that little girl. Today you stand in front of me, your father, and you address me in the language of the gutter snipe. My own son. I'm surprised at you. I'm surprised at you. Chris, please, come back. Please, my son, please. My husband, please forgive me. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up. <laughs> Don't allow him to leave the house. You know he's the only surviving son. He made up his mind to leave and he didn't ask him. He has chosen his path. Let him go. Let him go. Don't worry yourself. I'd rather go begging in the street than go soaking my hands with blood. Okay, Chuku is gone. Who knows who is next? You are my son, because your mother said so. But since you've made up your mind to leave, you are free. That's the gate. One day, someday, this madness will be cured. Any child that refuses to listen to his father never ends up well. Is that your prayer? It will not work because I'm covered with the blood of Jesus. And as the Lord even for whom I stand, no weapon walk against me. Chris, please come back! <laughs> Thank you. 
You didn't get the job. How do you know that? The moment I saw your face, I knew you didn't get it. But remember, every disappointment is a blessing. Do you know that I went to another office owned by Ojemba's friend to look for a job before coming home and they didn't give me the job? Why? I discovered the truth after talking to Ojemba's friend, Mr. Lucky, the MD of the company. He told me plainly that my father told all his friends and all other offices where he has influence that none of them should give me a job. God, what is all this? What is all this? But the devil is a liar. Yes, the devil is a liar. Because my Bible makes me to understand that even if they sit together and take counsel, it shall come to naught because God is with us. Father, you said in every circumstance we should learn to give thanks and glory to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire, pursue them. Holy Ghost, fire, scatter them. Anywhere they want, they gather. Holy Ghost, fire, pursue them. Holy Ghost, fire, pursue them. Jim, God will pay you. I've been observing with tremendous interest your keen effort towards the work of the Lord since you joined this church. And I realized that you matured spiritually to partake in the work of the kingdom. As such, you have been recommended to be deemed a pastor in this church. Believe this. <laughs> thank you very much, Pastor. You don't have to thank me. You thank the Almighty God, for He alone has the power to assign one to spiritual responsibilities. Thank God. Yes. Thank God. By accepting, you have accepted higher level of spiritual responsibilities. I hope you know that. There is no greater joy than committing oneself in the service of the Lord. I promise to serve with devotion by God's grace. Thank you, sir. One more thing. Your monthly salary might not be that impressive. But I know with time, we have to adjust. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come on, Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, sir. What is it? What happened? Honey, the Lord has answered our prayers. I've been recommended to be ordained as one of the pastors in our church. Oh my God, this is good news. This is good news. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank oh my God, Jesus. I tell you, our God is not asleep. No. Our God is not asleep. God is good. Oh. He, he has, has done us, us well. well. Oh my soul. Rise oh. up and praise the Lord. So you 
see, I don't know where to begin to thank God, you know, for giving me a brother like you, you know. Especially how you resuscitated our business within a very short period of time. Elvis, tell me, eh? What would I have ever done without a brother like you? Um, <clears throat> brother, I, I think it's the work of God, you know, through Pastor Chris. And sometimes I feel we should um, show some appreciation to him for all his prayers. You know, when people call me managing director, managing director, every time, sometimes when they call me, my head will... <laughs> but, but they do not know that you are the brain behind everything, the success of our business. Eh? The, the man with the key to the solution to every problem. Brother, stop, stop pulling my legs. Stop pulling my legs. But I'm your younger brother. You know, you're my elder brother. I have so much respect for you. I'm just trying to assist the family business. Yes. I know, I know, my brother. That is why every time I am praying, I keep praying before I go to bed. I pray. When I wake up, I pray that this relationship that exists between both of us, let it continue. Amen. And continue. Amen. No matter the situation. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Brother, I'm also praying that Mr. Mike will send those 40 feet containers. You understand? So that we can start marketing them. You understand? Because I've spent so much money calling him on the phone. He, he keeps telling me he's in Japan, that he's too busy, that he can't come back now. I, I, I'm just so impatient. You see, it has already worked out. And when it does, I will not borrow that name that the managing director from you. And they use it. Eh, to buy two jeep, eh, one for you, one for me. <laughs> Brother, you are coming again. <laughs> Brother, listen, it has worked out already. Amen. It has worked out already because Amen. I started calling all our customers, telling them the content in that container. <laughs> ah, you see why I call you PPA? <laughs> you know what PPA means? <laughs> Your faith. The thing is too strong, so strong that you can move a mountain. <laughs> Elvis, PPA. <laughs> Let us drink. Eh? You're welcome. Thank you very much, Pastor. Ah, you know, it's been a long time oh, or so. Yes, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> so how is life and business? Oh, everything's fine. Thank God. Thank oh, God. thank God. You're welcome, Elvis. Thank you very much, Pastor. I'm sorry, can I offer you anything? No, I'm fine. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm, sure I'm okay. No, I'm fine, sir. I'm fine, sir. How is your son? I almost forgot. Oh, gift. Yeah. <laughs> gift is fine. He's actually sleeping. Okay. Um, Sorry, please. Excuse me. Let me check up on him. Okay, Excuse me, please. Right. Okay. Shalom, take care. Pastor, I'm fine. I'm, all, I'm okay. okay yeah. Um, um, were you able to meet uh, that Mr. Frank concerning that business? Oh, yes. Uh, Mr. Frank and I are very close business oh. associates now. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yes, sir. That's nice. Um, Pastor. Um, I actually came around to um, thank you for everything you've done for me and my family. Um, I don't um, have enough words to use in expressing my my feelings. I just want to thank you. Let's give all the glory to God. It's the Lord's doing. Yes, sir. Um, Pastor, this is a little token I brought you know, to show appreciation for all your prayers and your spiritual support. Elvis, God will reward you abundantly. Yeah. Yeah. And Pastor, there's um, something I would want you to do for me. There's this very huge business I'm actually um, trying to go into. It's a, it's a very big business and I want you to pray for me and I want, I really want your spiritual support. Yes, sir. That's nice. Let us pray. Father, you say whatsoever we ask in the name of Jesus, you grant it unto us. Father, you say we shall sow. Father, and we shall reap. He that giveth it to a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward.
So you are determined to sponsor that Mr. Nana for the state chairmanship of our great party? And what have I got to lose? I mean, uh, in this business of politics, you put your money where your mouth is. He's a young man with plenty of prospects, so I thought it might be a good investment. That's all. Um, that reminds me. I saw that he had saw Chris yesterday. He was looking so wretched with his so-called wife. This born again of a thing has seriously eaten them up. Whether he is born again or circumcised again is entirely his own business. You know, our people say that a stubborn fly follows the corpse to the grave, right? He has chosen his own path. Let him follow it. That is too bad of him. I, I wonder why he chooses to abandon heaven for hell. You see, it's either you dance to the tune of the great Ipaja or you face the consequences. He has decided to engage the consequences head on. The responsibility is his. I'm sorry for him. I am so, so sorry for him. I'm sure he will come to beg when he realizes that the road he's going, there's no road to where he's going. Again, that's his business. Why don't we talk about more important things? What about your daughter? Well, my daughter is being expected. I'm sure he will be coming shortly. Yeah. He's due, he's due, he's due back home. Yeah. Well, it looks appetizing. Very, 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 very appetizing. I, I can't wait to. <laughs> you saw what I was waiting for. It's a wonderful birthday you organized for your son. <laughs> Money is talking here. Well, uh, we have uh, chosen to bid goodbye to poverty. And that was why I uh, decided to celebrate his birthday in a grand style. That's nice. Um, so, why are we out here? <clears throat> um, Pastor, um, being good is not just in words. But in practice. That's correct. And um, Pastor, you're an example of a good man. And God has used you tremendously to touch people's lives. And we are so grateful. And to show appreciation for everything you've done for our family, we have this token for you. Yeah. A car for me? <laughs> Oh God, how can I thank you enough for this wonderful generosity? Ndoka. Yes, Pastor. God will continue to bless you and your families. Amen. Amen. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. are around the corner and there are things we must do to win the election I hope you know that so sir how do we run this one is it from the east or from the west um two from the west and one from the east consider it done sir good
Duka, just try and understand. Just supply me these goods on credit. As soon as I am done with selling and distributing them, I will just pay you up. Madam Claudia, no. This is not the first time you're defaulting on payments. Okay? If you want goods on credit, you have to deposit 60% of the total amount of the goods. That's our new policy. <laughs> Your new policy. Let's handle this thing with maturity. I mean, 30 days credit line is normal in any business. Come on, trust me. Madam Claudia, my brother Elvis have said minimum 50% of the total amount of goods before we supply. You know he understands and knows I want to understand something. Are you the owner of this business? Or is it owned by your brother Elvis? Well, um, if I remember clearly, I'm a long-standing customer of yours of many years. What millions of Naira? And I'm wondering why you're refusing to grant me this little facility. But it's okay. Since you don't want to do business with me, I will go somewhere else with my money. No, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. I'm going to do this because of the previous transactions we've had. But on condition that you pay up the previous balance you owe us and then the rest in 30 days. Is that okay? Deal. Good. Uh, yes, Chief. Uh, thank you. Um, what is the situation in the hotel? Uh, what, what about occupancy? Uh, good, good, impressive. Um, how much has the uh, accountant lodged since last week? Good, good. Um, how many more rooms are left in the hotel? Room two or three? I see. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. How, how could you do this? How could you do this? You know how we started. How could you make this kind of a mistake? But I, I, I feel it was intentional. It was not intentional. I gave her that credit because she's one of our key distributors. But what kind of key distributor is that? But where was she when we were looking for money to, to clear those two containers from, from, from the wharf? Brother, Claudia is known for her being difficult in, in paying her debts. Don't worry about it. She promised she's gonna pay this time around. But, 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 but you know, you know that's a lie. She never keeps to her promises, brother. Then leave her to me. If she doesn't pay, I will personally deal with her. Well, well, let's wait and see. I, I know why I'm saying all this, but brother, you and I know this lady very well. I have told you, leave her to me. Sorry, Chief. We had to do a clean job so we don't leave any trace. Were you able to complete the assignment? Yes, sir. The good sign, the car side. Good. Go and package them properly. I'll get back to you. Okay, Chief. Okay. 
Yes, Chief Ojemba here. If the goods have been packaged according to your specifications, then my boys will be on their way soon. Yes. Now, one more thing. Make sure you pay me my money promptly, as I agreed. And fast. Thank you. On the phone. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Uh, Mr. Ojego, um, yes, we do not uh, sell on credit uh, anymore. Uh, it is cash and then we supply. Yes, the final decision. Yeah, bye bye. Sorry. No problem. <laughs> so, how is life and how is business? Oh, God. I mean, you won't believe it. The goods are selling like hot cake. <laughs> and um, in that line, I thought. It wouldn't be out of place if I wouldn't be overstepping my boundary by asking you to please have lunch with me. Oh yes, why not? <laughs> Who will say no to a beautiful woman? <laughs> so, um, if you don't mind, um, maybe tidy up and we can go? Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. Um, you know what? You are the most handsome man I've seen in a long time. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you as well. You're welcome. Mm. Can I feed you? Oh, this is a public place, you know. <laughs> It don't matter, okay? I don't care whoever this sees us. But what matters most is that you eat it off my spoon, please. <laughs> Anything for you? Oh. <laughs> that was nice. Well, you know, um, I love a man who knows how to treat a lady. Sometimes I try my best. You flatter me. <laughs> and um, so far, you are good. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, I must thank you for bringing me out to lunch. <laughs> it's my pleasure. You know, I, I think um, women um, should take men out sometimes too. You know, treat them nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my secret. Are you okay? Huh? Are you okay? Huh? Huh? I just had a terrible night to make out with you. Nightmare. 
you okay? Hmm? I'm scared. I don't want to lose you. But you're not losing me to anybody. Hmm? Listen, it was just a nightmare, okay? Everything will be fine, okay? It was just a dream, okay? Let's pray. Dear God, I ask that you protect Dear my God. husband. Cover him with your blood. Father, let no evil come near him. I cover this family with the blood of Jesus. I'm doing a supply to Madame Claude. Has she paid for the goods what six million she's been owing us? No, sir. Then cancel it right now. I said cancel it! That's an order by your senior brother. Listen, I don't care who gave you the order. She should pay for the goods she's been owing us. She's owing us six million. She should pay before we can now give her another goods. That is the way business is done. Give me that. Get out of there. Get out. Get out. The company is yours, I know. But Claudia has not paid up her, her, her bills. She has been owing this company for like a year now. Will you shut up? So what? My decision in this company is final. Brother, why are you shouting at me like this? What have I done? Is it because I'm trying to do things right? Will you shut up, Elvis? Shut up and get out of my sight before I descend on you. Get out! Out of my sight before I descend on you. Get out! What nonsense! Idiots! Can you... I think Alice is right. She has not so uh, paid for the supply she had. There was a supply to her. Tell me, shut up! Shut up and get out of this place! Get out! Get out! Idiot! What's going on in this house? Don't you know this company belongs to me? If... Senator Ojimba Truly, is your biological father. Why are you keen on tarnishing his image in society? He used to be my father, but not anymore. I cannot have a murderer and a cultist as a father. God forbid. But don't you think that this exposure will ruin his political career? Especially now that his candidate Running for governorship. You know what my Bible says? My Bible says, when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. I don't want my people to mourn. As long as I am alive, his party will never make it to the state house. God does not approve the rulership of the wicked. I'm a watchman. And if I see and do not talk, God is going to hold me responsible. But if I talk, the blood was not on my hand. Help it. It's past midnight and your brother is not home yet. I don't think all is well. Something is wrong somewhere. Um, um, listen, 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 Annabelle. Listen, you need to be calm. Okay, I believe he's somewhere probably having a couple of drinks with, with, with his friends. But you need to be calm. Albert, how does that sound to you? He didn't tell anybody nor call any of us to tell us his whereabouts. Well, Why are my husband doing this to me? Listen, I, I can't speak for him, okay? But you need to calm down. Like, worrying will not solve anything. Annabelle, crying is not the best thing to do right now. I'm sure Brother Anduka is fine wherever he is. Come, come, come. 
just gone to sleep. Listen, Annabelle, listen. You need to calm down. I'll keep trying him on the phone, okay? Valor, make sure you take care of him, please. Alright? Stop it, it's fine. Ah, hey, 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 hey. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I have to go. <sighs> Baby, can you just listen to me for one second? I have to go. My family is... They've been worried. They've been calling. See, I'm not saying you will not go. I'm not saying that you will not go. Okay, okay. Okay, just, just come down. One second. One second, let me talk to you. You will go. Okay? Yeah. But it's our first night together. Mm -hmm. Let me please, let me go, let it be some other. So, there are things in this newspaper that you should see. did this. Yes, sir. My own son tries to blackmail me and drag my reputation to the mouth. Sir, what do we do? It's all right. I'll handle it. When a son bends down to throw his father, he's blinded by the secrets of the loincloth. Chris, it's time for you to know who your father really is. Jimba, you sent for me. Yeah, I did. Uh, you keep your seat while my candidate loses his. Is that the arrangement? I don't understand. Is, is that a threat or what? You heard me. I don't care how you look at it. See, Jimba, it's not entirely my fault. It is rather yours. Um, if it were not for the scandalous article your so-called song wrote in the papers last week, we would have been making progress by now. I don't care what the media published. You are the Senate president and I made you that. Always have it at the back of your mind. I made you the Senate president. And I want you to ensure that my candidate gets that seat. That's why I called you. Well, I, I don't think it has gotten to that. Uh, I'll see what I can do. But remember, I'm not the only one that will take the decision. I don't care who takes the decision. I want that seat, and my candidate must occupy it. As I said earlier, I made you the Senate president, and I can always remove you. So I want him there. If you don't know that, it's called politics. Well, we'll see what we can do. Good. Condemn you. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, you are worthy to be glorified. Jesus. Father, you are worthy to be glorified. Jesus. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow yes, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus yes, Christ is Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we cast out all devils. Jesus said, in my name you will cast out devils. Yes, in Lord. the name of Jesus, every devil that has risen against us, we cast you out to the dry place of the earth. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We cover ourselves with soul and body with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. We seal up this room with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Father, yes. you are the Lord. Yes, Lord. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Any Lord. tongue that rises against us in judgment will condemn you. Yes, this yes. is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And our righteousness is of Him. Father, we bless your name. We are two or three at son's illness is very critical. It is a very rare ailment. On the last test I ran on him, there's urgent need of surgical operation and that will cost you 420,000 That is just for the operation. Doctor, please. I beg you, continue with the operation while we run and go look for money, please. We've had this from many people. Madam, I cannot do anything. You need to pay the money. Please. Madam, I did not charge you for the drugs, not for the test I ran. Doctor, please, I beg you in the name of God, in the name of anything you hold here, please, do not let our son die, I beg you. Please, sit down, please. You know, I cannot do anything. Please, give us this chance. We will never disappoint you. I'm a man of God. Sir, please. You don't seem to understand. Many have absconded from this hospital without being a dime. Even the, the, the so-called pastors and men of God. Please. Get the money, please. Go get the money. I can't do any other thing. <laughs> Come here. Hmm? You drink? <clears throat> no, don't swallow. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> Oops, that's good. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. What? Mm. What? So that. Mm. Oh, how time flies. Mm. I have to go home. Every time you're with me, you have to go. You've got a family. Am I not your family now? Am I also, I'm also your family. I'm you want so, to go home. I'm sorry. I've got a family. My family will be worried. Please, baby. Please stay. Stay with me. Please. Please, baby. Sweetheart, maybe some other time, okay? Some other time? Let me come with you. Please. Baby, baby, baby. You're not in your room. Davis, Davis, look at the time. Take a good look at the time. Davis, is this good? Is this good? Are you a fool to always be with your wife every night? Doesn't he feel the pains I pass through for his absence every night? Uh, listen, Annabelle, I understand how you feel. 
okay but i promise you that if he comes back i'll definitely talk to him and we'll find a way to this problem like we'll find a way out of this problem elvis there is no end to be seen i've concluded that nduka is seen another woman oh, come on come on annabelle how could you how could you say a thing like that you're not sure elvis why wouldn't i talk like that when he always have a particular perfume scent on him whenever he comes home late for other evidence, do I need to be convinced that he's seen another woman, Elvis? Tell me what I've done wrong. Just tell me. Fine, I understand how you feel. Okay? But right now you have to stay calm. And you, 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 you don't have to keep doing this before you wake the children up. Elvis, this has got to stop for crying out loud. I'm sick and tired of all this. Okay, fine, fine. Listen, if he comes back, I'll try and talk to him. Okay, I'll try and talk to him and, and we'll, we'll, we'll find a way out of there. What you're doing? Oh no, no, no. Listen, this is not happening. This is not happening because it is over my dead body. I won't be alive and watch this happen. And so what are you waiting for? Can't you see it's already happening? And, and you, listen to me. Stop deceiving yourself because your plans of charming my brother and taking over his world will not succeed. Recently, we got to know about it. Pastor, to the extent that my brother has torn our family apart just because of this, this Jezebel that he's not married to, everything's just happening so fast, I don't understand. Jesus. Um, brother, I have this. Your brother is under a spell. The devil is at work. We will pray so that God will intervene. It shall be well. Yes, you said you wanted to see me. Yeah, what is it? Hurry up, okay? I don't have that. Um, but I came to tell you that um, since you don't want me to work with you anymore, well, and you don't want me to run the business with you anymore, I came to tell you to give me my own share of the business. Now, if that is a share you're talking about, let me quickly inform you that it is from that share that I married that thing you call a wife for you. It is from that same share that I put this roof over your head all these years. All the food you've been eating here, my cars that you've been driving are from the same share. Or is there any other share you're talking about that I do not know? But I don't tell me this is how ungrateful you are. After working for you, after making so much effort to see that our business grow, and you want to. Take away my sweat. You want to steal my sweat? Hey, you've got my share, Elvis. Sweetheart. Yes, dear. Mm -hmm. I missed you upstairs. Mm. What are you still doing with this fool? Your evil plans will not work. How dare you? 
call my wife evil right before me, Elvis. Brother, this is not your wife. She's evil. And I'll say it over and over again. See what I've been saying? You see what I've been telling you? That this brother of yours plans to kill you. You think you can come into this house and rip from where you did not sow? Oh no. You are the one who wants to rip from where you did not sow. Now as I look at you, go right upstairs. Back your things. Back your wife. Back your child. And leave my house right now. Yes, leave. You heard my husband, right? You can leave. Leave your house. But now you can be forgotten all my And now you want me to leave your house. Fine, I will leave. But you, whatever you have done to my brother will definitely come to number. Never so to you, Jezebel! Me? Am I Jezebel? God forbid! You just call me Jezebel! Get, get, get out of my house! Get out! 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 Brother, me! Out! Out! Get out! Get out! Brother, me! Out of my house! Brother, me! Out! I said, get out of my house! Brother, me! Out! Didn't you hear my husband? He said, she'd get out! Get out! Get out! What are you going to sit here? Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Get out of my house! What are we going to do? Why did you let this to befall us? Why? Are you going to stand here and let this idiot insult me? So, how dare you insult my wife? Oh, oh, oh. Right before me. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on here? Thank you, Pastor, for this question. Nduka has succeeded in throwing Elvis and his family out of his life because of this witch he called his wife. How dare you call my wife? Hey! Are you stupid? Please, uh, as for you, eh? You witch! God, you want to punish you! God, you want 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 punish you! Please, 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 come down, come down, come down, come down. Oh, Jesus, forgive them. Ndoka, oh, so truly, you drove your brother Elvis and his family out of the house he helped you build because of another woman that you are committing adultery with. In the name of God, it is evil. Hey, who the hell is this? What the hell are you doing in here? What rubbish are you talking about? Huh? Uh, Pastor Chris, 
I, I, I can now see that he's chosen to bite the finger that fed you. Right? Now get out of my house! Get out! You're asking me to leave your house? Oh, I'm asking you to leave my house and you are asking me if I am asking you to leave my house. Get, get, get out! Get out! My car keys! The car I bought for you! <laughs> I now have it. Get out. What do you get from this wicked Athen? If you say one more word, you get out of that field man of yours. I'm gonna struggle with you, struggle you with my bare hands. Did you hear me? Oh. You have changed. This is the car. You sold to the Almighty God through me. Be careful. Mm. The devil wants to take your soul. Yeah. The only thing that it's constant in life is change. Now, Mr. Pastor, or whatever you call yourself, get out of my compound before I let the dogs loose on you. Now, get! I command and I command you, command you to leave my house. house. Yes! I command you to leave my get house. Get out! Get out! Welcome, members of the committee. Thank you, Pastor. One of the main reasons why we are here today is because our brother Chris has something to tell us. Chris, please. Uh, thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you, my elders. Thank you. As I am talking to you now, I have a problem that is cutting my throat. My son is lying critically ill on a sick bed. And I'm looking for money to save his life. 
420,000 naira. Please, if this church can lend me this money, I will pay back in no time. Please. You have heard him. It's a very serious problem. Something that can happen to anybody, anytime. So what do you say? <clears throat> uh, Chris. We don't have enough money in the post to give out. We are building a church auditorium. And of course, you know, it's a huge project at hand. We are talking about life here. Life. Not property or any other thing. Life, please. Life. <laughs> and neither are we here for jokes, Pastor. Like I said, I want to use this money to save life. I will pay back. I'm very sorry that this kind of thing fell on you, Chris. There is no money left to give out. Even if it is the last donation made by Okema, which is still available, if the church can help me with it, it will still be enough to solve my problem and I will pay back. <laughs> but, Brother Chris, did you not just hear what he just said last? He said it's from that particular donation we are using for the church auditorium building. So, you see, our hands are tied. We can't help you. you that's correct. Why we are called brothers in Christ is because of our ability to help each other in times of need. If my church cannot help me, who do I run to? I know by faith that my son will not die. Amen. Amen. But we will remember that God is there to judge on our actions. Born again. What are you doing here? You might be surprised to see me, right? Like a bad coin. I'm turning up again. <laughs> Let me make an observation. You're looking remarkably good. Remarkably healthy. For somebody who's uh, abandoned home for a long time. I know you must be very upset that I'm still alive. You murderer. <laughs> Hi. Allow your dog to come and finish what you have left of me. You know, Mr. Bonnie again. I was thinking that by now your God would have improved your lot. But see the way you're looking. And like a drowning man, you're clutching at a straw. Every straw you can come across. Every setback <laughs> is for a while. I'm not done with you yet. Mm. I will continue to expose you the more. Setback is permanent, sir. You will meet your fate soon. What went wrong? What went wrong? I invoked Akpaja and requested him to send plagues to Chris. From all indications, the plagues did not get to him. So he still walks tall with a feeling of calm west. See, Chris, you've beaten me once. You will not beat me twice. You will not beat me twice, Chris. You will not beat me twice. <laughs> Lucy, you're welcome, my dear. You're welcome. Let's toast. Let's toast. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> Thank you. 
first of all, we have to toast and celebrate your coming back to me. For how many years now I've been asking you to pay me a visit? And just like a surprise, you just stomped into my house like an angel. This cause for celebration. Oh. What is the matter with you? I thought I'd ask you to wear off this your mean face anytime you want me. Darling, please smile for me and I'll smile. Uncle, my stop dear, it. Dear, Uncle, smile. Uncle, please. Please stop it. That is why my Bible tells me that it is better to be in the house of money than in the house of merriment. Meaning? Romans 14, 17. That the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but it is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. What is the meaning of all these proverbs you've been saying since you came in here? I didn't come here because I want to have a taste of the best of your wives. But I came here because I have a problem. My son is hospitalized and will be undergoing an operation soon. What of your husband or his father Ojemba? If my husband had the money, or if his father had given it to him, I wouldn't be here. Then you give me what I'm asking for, and I'll give you the money times three. Uncle, I came here to ask you for a favor, and all you can ask me to do is sleep with you. Yes, now. What's the problem? You're a very shameless man. You're a very, very shameless man. You can keep your money and go to hell with it. You're not going to be what I'm asking for. You're not going to be Oh my God. Oh my God. Me? Hi! I mean, 
Who want to play with his life? It's terrible. Then maybe God came down from heaven and made away with the money. I wonder who is behind this atrocity. Well, Chris. I have sinned against God and this congregation. Please forgive me. I took the money in order to save my son's life. I had no other option. I, I knew it. I knew that you were nothing but a wolf in sheep's clothing. How could you, Chris? How could you? I begged for this money, but the church refused to give me, even when there was money in the bus. So I decided to take it to save my son's life first, and then pay back later. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, on getting there, my son was dead. Jesus Christ! So, given the present situation, Pastor, I recommend that Brother Chris should be excommunicated from this congregation. And what do you say? I support her. We concur. Pastor, we concur. Crying like this about your excommunication will not solve anything. What am I going to do? Where am I going from here? Tell me, Lucy. Our God is a merciful God. And He is slow to anger. I know He will forgive you of your sins. Where was His mercies when my son was dying?
I send all of you an assignment and you fail. You will all pay with your blood. Am I understood? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get out, all of you. I said, get out. Get out. Get out. me this time, but I assure you, your luck will not hold out for too long. I promise you that. Brother Barry, what are you doing here? No, I should be asking you that. Oh, but yeah, I, I stay around here anyway. Really? Yes. Actually, I'm on my way to my house. You have a house around here? Of course, Pastor. Oh, glory be to God. Amen, amen. Um, Pastor, I know you must be thinking that I've stopped at any church service lately. But the truth is that I've been so really busy, you know, with some business that demands urgent attention. Attention more than your God? Um, well, actually, I'm no longer attending that church. Um, as a matter of fact, I've been excommunicated. Why? How? You you are for people excommunicated? <sighs> Pastor, I'm eager to hear the story. But I want us to go to the house so that we can talk well about it, okay? Please, let's let's go. Let's go to the house. Pastor, please! Pastor, please! And who would believe they would treat you so cruelly after your dedication to the church? Your spiritual support made a positive impact on every member in the church, including myself. Pastor, I benefited a lot. God knows the best. I wonder how you've been coping financially. It's not been easy. Mm. I can imagine. Come to the house tomorrow evening. Let me see I can help support your ministry. Whereas with some support you can set up your own church. Thank you. Brother Barry, I cannot thank you enough. You've just restored my hope.
God bless you. Amen. 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 But, Pastor, I should be the one thanking you for your support in the past. Right. I should be thanking you. That reminds me. What about your wife? She's fine. Mm. Indeed. Both of you were the end of every couple in the church. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. That is it. I like that, Pastor. Please, um, Pastor, take your drink. Please, please, please. Or should I get something else for you? Please, please, just take it, okay? Pastor, Pastor. I was actually trying to, you know. So I want you to manage this. Just use it to support the ministry, okay? I believe this can help you at least, you know, you know some little ways. Father. Get down! Come down! Stay this late and not call me. And here is ABD breaking news. In the early hours of today, a team of anti robbery squad from the first headquarters of the state raided the residence of one Mr. Barry Njoku, who is suspected to be sponsoring a dreaded group of kidnappers that has been terrorizing the state of late. According to the statement by the police public relations officer, Mr. Doka, there was a chase by his men, and the robbers were subsequently arrested. Among those arrested is a former pastor of the Living Word Church, Pastor Chris Ojemba, who is also the son of the distinguished Senator Ojemba. He was said to have been arrested with his own share of the blood money. And back to our sports story. Day, sir. Mm -hmm. um, please, sir, have you heard any recent development about your son, Chris Ojemba? Well, I'm not deaf, am I? Um, his criminal activities are all over the media. So what exactly is your reaction to that, sir? Well, I think it's unfortunate that somebody who calls himself a child of God should be involved with criminal activities. Oh. It's unfortunate. Do you mean, sir, that you have no intention of um, taking him out of the case? No, you see, anybody who assists a criminal is an accomplice. 
the law must take its course. Sir, we heard it. He's been charged to court and he got himself a lawyer. He's entitled to a lawyer. All criminals are entitled to lawyers. What matters is that the case gets to court and the law takes its course. That's all. At the end, justice prevails. Excuse me. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. This is my judgment. The weight of evidence before the court tells heavily against the accused persons, John Peters and Chris Ojemba. They are guilty as charged. John Peters is hereby sentenced to eight years imprisonment, whilst Chris Ojemba, being a first offender and due to the plea of leniency by his counsel, is hereby sentenced to two years in prison. Daddy, you're still here? Are you not going with me to church? I'm tired. I can't go alone. Chris, what is wrong with you? Ever since you were released, this has been your attitude towards spiritual matters. I'm tired. Please. Chris, I beg you. Please do not turn your back on your God. Why did he turn his back on me in the first instance? Why? The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Chris, you are allowing the devil to use you and I will not let that happen. How can you blaspheme about our God? Blasphemy, you say? <laughs> You've forgotten what we went through all these years. From one turbulence to the other. I wonder whether he is truly whom I had believed him to be. Please, I beg you. Do not let your going to prison affect your spirituality. See, the God that we both serve, who deliver at the appointed time, you know that. How would that be? Maybe when I've come to the graves. You know the story of Job in the Bible. I am not Job, and I'm not ready to be Job! Him, I ask you to bring him back to yourself, blessed Redeemer. It is a temptation. Oh God, why have you let darkness into my world? I lost my job, my integrity as a man of God. I lost my only son. I spent years in prison for a crime I did not commit. Where were you that I should suffer in this horrible manner? You said you will always be there for your children. I decided that my family and I will serve you till the end of time. But you abandoned me after my faithful devotion to you why have thou forsaken me what do i have in this miserable world what am i living for Still thinking. Sit 
thinking will solve the problem. Okay? Let's just commit everything to God in prayers. He put out during the elections cost me. Do you? Do you? And you have me to forgive him. We have to calm down, Captain. Blood is thicker than water. He is still your son. He's forgiven. It is said that when you hit a child with the right fist, you pull him close with the left as soon as he repents. He is your son. Two sides to life. One, the very rough side, what you've just experienced and you're about crawling out of. And the exciting side, which will require money to save on. And that's what the opulent in the society enjoy. Very soon, you'll be in money. So you know what I'm talking about. People erroneously say that money is the root of all evil. No, it's the lack of it. <laughs> Father, mine was a very bitter experience. Can you imagine my losing my only son because of money to foot his hospital bill? I want to make big money. Oh. Don't worry. Mm. I want to pay back my enemies. By coming back home, you've taken the right step. The entire world is already at your feet, I can assure you. You know what I'm going to do? I will give you five of my companies to run. Yes. So that you get all the money you require for anything you want to do. And um, Father, it's not as if I'm rejecting your offer. Mm -hmm. But there's this business that has been in my mind. Church business. What? Church? Oh, uh, 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 Father, I know this might be mm. irritating and even very provoking. But this time around, it is business. They've used me before. Now I want to use them to make money. People make a lot of money these days from church. Church. Well, all right, if you, if you say so. I 
promise I'm going to give you all the backing you require. But you see, you have to possess some powers to be able to perform miracles. And that's the only way you can succeed in the church business. And that's why I am saying, come and join us. That's it. Yeah, whatever you wish, Father. Now you begin to sound like my son. Look, if you join the brotherhood of riches, you will lack nothing. And now that you're sounding like my son, <laughs> eat. <laughs> eat. Do you realize what they are asking me to do? You should have told me that this is what it will cost to please you. I cannot do that. Alright, son. Let me ask you a question. What is life without money? I'm asking you, what is life without money? This is the only way to get you out of the poverty that has stricken you all this while. And yet you want to spurn it. Father, I cannot kill my wife. This is a woman that loves me from my heart. I cannot kill her. Okay. So what do you intend to do? Because that which makes a man also take something from that man. What do you intend to do? I'm asking you. You see, it's not as if you have a lot of choices. It's either you sacrifice your wife and get all the money you need, or you opt out and you get killed. You see, son, in this business, once in, you're never out. The choice is yours. The choice is yours, son.
no control for a mortal in our holy covenant. For you are now a descendant of our immortal Akata. Do it before it is too late. Do it! Do it now! Obviously, you're not looking good. I come on, join me in my car. Pastor! Yeah, come on, join me in my car first. Join me, join me first, you know? Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I know you may not believe everything that I've just said here. But you will believe me by the time you follow me to the village and see how my family and I how we've been living, how we've been eating from hand to mouth. Pastor, do you know my wife lost her pregnancy just because of what Unduka put me through? Pastor, that was why I had to come to the city too. To see if I can start all over again. It's okay. It's okay, Elvis. You know, we've all shared the same hard times. That you know. But thank God. My sorrows are over. I'll help you. Yeah. Everything will be fine. So don't worry. Pastor, thank you very much. My God will bless you. <laughs> no, you shouldn't be thanking me. You should be thanking God, who makes all things possible. <sighs> Pastor, Pastor, I'm, I'm sorry to ask you this question. Please don't be offended. Go ahead. But Pastor, how come you made so much money? I mean, Pastor, look at this place. Pastor, you're a changed man. What is the secret? 
the secret you say. Yes. <laughs> the secret is God Almighty. He is the El Shaddai. He is the Elohim. You know, he he's just uh, Excuse me. Oh, Tony. Hello, Tony. Yeah, how is business? Hope you've discussed with them. I hope the land is big enough for the size of the church we want to build. Okay. Hello? Uh, uh huh. 95 million naira. Okay. Just come over to my house and pick the check. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Thanks a lot. Bye. I'm planning to build my own church. A big one. Pastor. Pastor, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> happy for you. Oh, thank God. It's the grace of God. Hey, Pastor, that reminds me. How is your wife? I, I, I'm sorry, I forgot to ask. She's late. How come? Lucy is gone. Oh. Pastor, I'm sorry. Please accept my sympathy. I didn't know. It's okay. You know, we all will pass on to glory someday. You know, it's okay. Oh, but meanwhile, uh, my father is planning a little get together for his friends in his house. And he has asked me to be there. So I just want you to accompany me to the place. <laughs> no, Pastor, no problem. Who am I to reject such an offer? I'm always available. <laughs> Who knows? Huh? Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Distinguished gentlemen, I am happy you were able to honor this invitation at very short notice. Actually, I organized this party to welcome my son. Um, took quite a bit of doing, but I must say I'm proud of him. <laughs> so, you know, if you know the nature of relationship between us, you'd be surprised he came back. He's my only surviving son. And um, when the warfare between both of us began, he vilified me in the media. As a matter of fact, he insisted on rubbishing my personality so as to queer my election chances. I wanted to fight back, but I said to myself, this is my son. No matter what happens, one day, someday, he must come back with his tail stuck between his legs to come and say, Dad, 
I'm sorry. And so like the prodigal son in the Bible, he's back and sorry and ready to be part of his father's household. And so I said, I must thank everybody who helped to ensure that he comes back. That's why I call this party. As you can see, there is plenty to drink and a lot to eat. And I can assure you that as we eat and drink, appetite must keep growing. And as appetite grows, we shall eat, we shall drink, until we demolish everything that we have here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You never told me you had such wonderful, big, rich men as friends. Well, you know, when you have money, everyone would like to be your friend. When you don't have money, money looks down on you. But when you have money, you look down on it. That's the way it goes. Oh, that's true. Well, Pastor, I, I still notice that this party is not for low class like me. No, it's not for no life like me. Okay. Yeah, it's for big, big people, high class people. No, come on. Yeah, it's for big, big people. Pastor, can you see the rich men here? <laughs> Don't count yourself on low class anymore. You know, I found something in you, and I know you can change. Hey, Pastor. You never told me that your, your father is a big man. You never told me that your father is a wealthy man in our society. Sorry, I never did. But um, that's not really the issue we should be discussing. Yeah. This issue should be about you. Pastor, I will not mind if you introduce me to this your club. Pastor, could you imagine I, I just shook hands with prominent men in the society? Eh? Pastor, if I keep hanging around these men, I, I'll just say bye-bye to poverty one day. Elvis, the road to riches appears very, very broad. But it is very narrow. Then, Pastor, in that case, I'm ready to do anything. I'm ready to wash plates. I'm ready to pack dirt. Pastor, poverty has dealt with me seriously. Stop mentioning poverty. Speak no more of it. Because it brings pains and miseries. I will right your wrongs. Just keep smiling. <laughs> keep smiling. Let's, let's, let's keep back to party. <laughs> You're about to go. God will grant you safe journey. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, here is um, two hundred and fifty thousand naira. Just have it for a start. Hey, Pastor. Pastor, this is more than enough. Pastor, thank you very much. It's just the tip of the iceberg. 
Um, this is my card. Just keep in touch. Just keep in touch. Okay. Pastor, yeah. my God will bless you. Okay. Pastor, thank you for everything you've been doing for me. Pastor, thank you for the clothes, for the food, for the bag. I'm so, I don't know how to thank you. For Elvis, it's okay. Oh, have you had something to eat? Pastor, I'm full. I've had more than enough to eat. Okay. Yes. Now, my regards to your wife. Huh? I will tell her. Pastor, th thank you. Pastor, let me go now. Thank you very much. Imagine my kind of bad luck. Why is life so unfair to me? What the money you got? Come down. Come down, my place. 250,000 naira is not the end of your life. Come down. What kind of work is this? There are other ways to solve this kind of recurrent problem. When God has refused to help. Pastor, I don't understand. You know, you're like a brother to me. Yeah. And I think the time has come for you to know the difference between black and white. The route to success is very narrow. And I will leave you there. Let's go.
Tonight is the greatest night of your life. This is the night when you briefly join the League of Men that controls power and wealth. Men that have embraced honey beyond mortal definition. Men that speak and breathe supernatural and her ability. Welcome. You shall swear to an oath of allegiance. We have rules. Keeping our rules means even more wealth and prosperity. Violating these rules means death. There are three basic rules. Rule number one, you must never, ever Trade the secret of this fraternity with anyone. Rule number two. You must neither question nor challenge Akaja's rules. Rule number three. You must be your brother's king at all times. Now, before your initiation commence, hear what Akaja demands from you. You will sleep with the mad woman. And you shall procure two heads of budget for sacrifice. And you will never ever sleep with your wife. How can I trade my conscience for a piece of gold? Would you rather trade your precious life for the claws of poverty? You're supposed to be my spiritual counselor. You're supposed to be my pastor. But I don't understand. Don't be a fool, Alvin. You can't be more righteous than I was. But you see, there comes a time in a man's life when he has to take his destiny in his own hands. This is what I did. And this is what I expect you to do. How could you say that? It is difficult. That which makes a man take something from the man. Look, this is just a little price we have to pay for our greatness, for a better life. A better life? Sure. For a better life by hurting your okay. loved one. Enough of this conscience thing, Elvis. Look, you even had a very lenient demand. I killed my wife. I sacrificed all that matter to me in life. A precious life. You see what I see? That you're very fortunate. Hey! I understand. Now I understand. Then be a man.
against mankind, against my family, and God. Elvis, Valon, Junior, please you people should forgive me for all the hurting things I have done to you in the past. I truly am sorry. Very sorry. Please forgive me. Brother Anduka, if we can offend God that we do not see, and still beg for forgiveness. And he still forgives us. Who are we not to forgive you? But Andrew I believe that same God has forgiven you. And that is why you were able to come out of this bondage. But Andrew Whatever happened, has happened for a reason. And I want us to learn from it. In other words, Brother Africa, I forgive you with all my heart. I'm sorry. Brother, your brother here has shown so much wisdom and courage. In fact, I am very, very delighted to see the glory of the Lord rested upon your family. But the most paramount thing to be done now is for you to go in search of your lost wife. You're right, Pastor. I can imagine what Annabelle has gone through. Let us pray. Um, let us pray for her and also for God to guide you through the right path in search of her. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the kingdom of God suffers violence and only the violent take it by force. So let us pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so, Father God Almighty, King of glory, you are the untouchable changer. And so, Father God, we commit Annabelle into your evil hands that wherever she is right now, O Lord, let your divine presence never depart from her in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And we commit her whereabouts, wherever she goes, O Lord. Let your divine presence, let your Holy Spirit accompany her in Jesus' name. Amen. Order her footsteps, O Lord. Let your divine kingdom 
Let your divine mercy, let your divine wisdom, let your divine understanding surround her, envelop her in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. How be that? Okora, it's me. It's me, you know your name? It's me, Madam Annabelle. Madam Annabelle? Madam, what's happened? What's happened? Don't worry. I'm okay now. I'm fine. You okay? Yes, I'm fine. Where is my son? Your son, you're there inside. Madam, 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 Abed. Bed, you know, like I want to see my son. I take go, beg you. Madam, you know, Fianta like it. I want to see my son. I beg. Don't try to stop me again. Ma, 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 ma. Madam, Madam, be good. Take me in, bro. Madam. Share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship. Mommy! Of sin is death, and the soul that sins must die. 